This week in Living Color, ask the question, what if Barbara Streisand were black? Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, step into the mic tonight from around the way. The first lady of rap, give it up for MC Barbara. <laughs> Tests. Do I look like an infant to you, son? Mm, no. Do I look like a newborn baby, son? No. Then I wasn't born yesterday! <laughs> Maybe you haven't heard Mr. McAfee's speech on sharp pointed objects. If I have to point it out, then you're out. Now get out! <laughs> Hold it right there, Cleopatra Jones, right over here, baby. Hold it still. What do you got in there, sweetie? Huh? You're carrying a derringer in the jib of yours? Open it up. Come on, I said, uh. Oh, my God, what is this thing? That's my retainer, Mr. McAfee. Now my teeth will never be straight. I'll be ugly. You know, I got news for you, Missy. You can have the teeth of Julia Roberts, and you still won't be shopping for a prom dress. Now, I am spray, Eagle Pink. Go ahead, Josh. <laughs> Attention, delinquents. I think it's high time you heard Mr. McAfee's speech on weapons. Guns are like women. You keep one around long enough, and sooner or later, you're gonna want to shoot it. <laughs> oh, hold it right there, Miss Sathaway. <laughs> now, you know no one avoids the scrutiny of the Detecto 2000. Maxie, I don't have time for this. I'm a teacher. Now, 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 we have to set an example for the kids. <laughs> Let's check you out, Sugar Smacks. <laughs> oh, looks like somebody's trying to... Smuggle a pair of scuds there. I'm wearing an underwire bra, you idiot. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to pat you down and see for myself. No way, Mac. Now, Miss Hathaway, I'm a professional. Do you think I could possibly derive some sort of sensual pleasure by simply doing my job? No. Now, spread them! Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Get off of you, sicko! 
All right, you little criminals. Who's laughing at me? Huh? Who's laughing at me? <laughs> You're gonna be laughing at detention. Oh, damn this metal hip. You know, you kids are laughing now, but nobody was laughing when this war hero jumped out of a chopper over Mughal Guy Pan. <laughs> Sam. Yo, you know what? I'm glad you're on the job, Mr. Mac, because I don't feel safe up in here. You know what I'm saying? Well, thanks a lot, son. You know, sometimes you gotta be cruel to be kind. You're not still banging, are you? No, I ain't doing that. All right, then let's have a look in your jacket. Hey, 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 hey. What do we have here? A harmonica, huh? You know, son, there were many nights in the old foxhole with my other male compatriots. All we had is Judy Garland records and each other's company. And of course, the moth organ was my only true friend. You know Jimmy Crackwell? No, and I don't care. Well, you know what, maybe I can play that for you sometime, Mr. McIntyre. <laughs> hey, hey, boys, you at ROTC? Take it on through. Hey, you're doing a very fine job, Mr. McAfee. Hey, keep up the good work, all right, man? Why, hey. thanks a lot. Is it Leroy? Section 18, know your mom and dad well. You know, you're one of the good apples, Leroy. <laughs> okay, one at a time. Yeah, I guess they know who's in charge here. Al McAfee, that's it. <laughs>Good morning. Let me just get myself organized here. Okay, well. <clears throat> who is next, please? Hello there, sir. How are you? Fine, how are you? <clears throat> Let me guess. You're an American Indian, aren't you? Uh, Native American. Oh, Native American, that's right. Oh, for heaven's sakes, politically correct. <laughs> you know, between the uh, coloreds wanting to be called Afro-Americans, and don't even try to explain to me the difference between the Asians and the Orientals. I know one of them's a rug. <laughs> but listen, how can I help you? Did you hear what I said? How can I help you? <laughs> uh, I... Oh, I slay myself. Well, I'm new in town and uh, looking for a job. Well, of course you are. Now, how long have you been off the reservation? Listen, I know how traumatizing it can be to be in an urban dwelling for the first time. I do know something of your pain, you know. Just the other night, I rented Dances with Wolves. Look, I, I need a job today, if you, if you got one. Oh, well, of course. Uh, we'll fill out an application. Now, I'm sorry. What was your name? What, what is it that you do with wolves? <laughs> no, never mind. I'll come back tomorrow, okay? Well, all right, but you're never going to get anywhere with that kind of attitude. Oh, for heaven's sakes, would you look at you, you jolly old elf. I could have used you back in December, what with all of the calls I was getting for department store Santas. You just would never believe it. Well, for heaven's sake. Uh, who's next, please? I am... Hello there, dear. I'm Sheila P. Hello. Um, I'm looking for a job, but in the meantime, I'd like to collect unemployment. Oh, well, of course. Now, you will um, have to fill out an application. All right. Here we are. Now, <clears throat> what was your name before you uh, embraced the ways of Mohammed or whatever you say? I mean, listen to me. I would put down X, Y, Z or whatever chromosome you want, but the folks upstairs wouldn't be too thrilled if you know what I mean. You know, I can really respect your whole denouncing of Whitey, but... <laughs> Well, let's just focus on getting you a job, shall we? Can I fill out the application by myself, please? Oh, no, I'm afraid it would be much, much better if I helped you fill it out. Now, uh, were you uh, laid off? Yes, I was. Well, of course you were. I figured as much. Listen, can I be a friend? If you would just run a comb through that hair of yours, your phone would be ringing off the walls. You could have any job you wanted. Can anyone else help me? Thanks. Oh, um, pardone, amigo, but these cardos are not written in Espancholo. We bien? That's okay, lady. I can read them. Oh, of course you can. Are there Very any... good. <laughs> are there any listings for any part-time work? Oh, now, for heaven's sakes, what kind of attitude is that? You're never going to get ahead that way. Why don't you try something full-time? Hey, lady, I have another job. I work in produce. Oh, well, now, of course you do. But I have to confess to you, I think that kind of work is extremely dangerous. Dangerous? What are you talking about? I don't understand how it is that you avoid getting hit by a car selling those oranges right off the freeway ramp. I mean, for heaven's sakes, but well. 
Of course, what's a little Toyota to you and your dad and bulls all day long? Oh, wait! <laughs> Can I talk to your manager? You know, just when you said that, you sounded like that what's-his-name. Oh, God, don't tell me. You look just like him, that uh, Eugene uh, nearly almost, what's his name? <laughs> That's the woman I want to file a complaint That's against. Her. She insulted me. What? If I owned the Mini Mart, I would not need a job. This dot has nothing to do with laser tag. <laughs> Sheila, I've warned you before. I'll have to talk to you in my office. Well, now, there must be some sort of misunderstanding, sir. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> you to give me the buttons rush, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, judging by the looks of that jacket, I'd say you are a new beauty consultant. Uh -huh. And by the looks of your makeup, I can see that I am needed. <laughs> That's very cute. Um, well, this is your station, and what I'd like for you to do is to start organizing these mascaras in the display case, mm -hmm. all right? And we have an overstock on apricot facial masks, so make sure you push them, okay? Mm okay. I'll be in the back if you need me. All right. <laughs> I think I need some help. Oh, I'm glad for you. And I'm sure that your analysts will be very pleased that you have made this breakthrough. <laughs> but for right now, why don't you tell me what you need from me so I can go back to this life-enriching task of arranging these mascaras? <laughs> okay, that sounds really good. I just, um, I've never worn makeup before, and I'm just looking for a brand new me. <laughs> Any suggestions? Well, uh, several come to mind, <laughs> but why don't you try these samples, and when you find this new you, why don't you take her out to dinner so you can uh, let me get back to my task? <laughs> Excuse me. I am sure that the Cooties Research Commission has given you complete permission to rub your mouth all over anything and every object you happen to encounter. But this is the company lipstick, not your own personal dental retainer. Tissue anyone? How do I look? <laughs> That depends on which circus you would like to join. <laughs> I mean, I am too sure that Bozo the Clown is out somewhere shaking in his big red boots, knowing that you are sneaking in on his territory. <laughs> so, um, unless you are auditioning for the Tammy Faye Baker story, I would lose a few layers. Just you in one. Thank you. I guess I'll just go home now. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> All the other registers are full. Can you ring this up for me? Why, yes, I can. The question is, will I? The answer is no. But there's nobody here. This is makeup. This is a makeup counter where makeup is wrong on the register. So unless this is a new form of cotton eyeliner, of which I'm not presently aware, I suggest you take this merchandise back to the department from whence it came. Where is your manager? I like to lodge a complaint. Well, that shows you have a lot of spunk. And I am too sure that when you file your blistering condemnation of my retail skills, our company stock will plummet on the stock exchange, cause a rash of suicide, and trigger global depression. <laughs> but my manager is not there at the moment, so you will have to be content with causing a public nuisance. Oh, wait, you don't have to be so mean. Tissue anymore? Oh. Uh, excuse me, miss. I would like for you to give me a facial mask. I am going to the opera tonight, and I wish to look my best. Oh, well, I'm sure that when the fat lady looks out from the audience and sees your gleaming, wide-open pores, yes. she'll be inspired to her greatest performance. But for only $12.99, you can take this apricot mask home and do it yourself. <laughs> No, no, dear, you don't understand. Money is no object. I should like you to apply it. Fine. I am too sure that uh, Donald Trump Ooh. will be very pleased Whoops. to know that you have given me $40 okay. to spread some orange goop all over oh. your face. <laughs> yes, well, uh, oh my. How long should it stay on, then? Uh, oh, about two hours. Two hours? It would, isn't it usually... 15 minutes or so? Yes, that's correct, but unfortunately, this is my lunch hour. What? Tissues are right over there. Oh, I miss, miss, miss. Welcome to the Black People Show. And now, here's your host. Give it up one time for 
for Lamar Hightower. Hey, thank you. Welcome to the Black People Show. The show by, for, and about peoples of blackness. <laughs> Our first celebrity guest has appeared on many television shows and infomercials. Y'all give a nice hand for my main man, Kirk Jackson. <laughs> To the Black People Show, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lamar. <laughs> now, before I start, I got to tell the brothers at home how proud I am of this black man right up and through here. Not only are you a working black actor, or blackter, as I like to say, <laughs> but you seem to bring dignity and pride to every little part you play. <laughs> Give it up for Kurt, everybody. <laughs> so what you working on, Kirk? Well, you know, I work with all the biggies, mm -hmm. Wesley, Denzel, and I just finished a commercial where I played a razor. <laughs> a what? A razor. Well, I'll tell you one thing, brother man. This weekend, the raisin is coming from the Black People's Showcase Theater, where I will be starring in a raiding in the sun. Hey, man, give it up one more time for me, man. <laughs> and we're going to be raising much sand over there. <laughs> well, look here, Kirk. I want to thank you. I know you got things to do, places to go, and you can't stay. <laughs> yes, I can. I'm not busy. Well, you might want to scoot your little ass down. <laughs> All right. Our next guest is currently on the set of her new hit TV show, Deep Solar System 6. <laughs> now, please welcome live via satellite my main girl, Tanya Hodges. <laughs> hey, Tanya. Tanya, you know you're one of the hardest working blackresses in Hollywood today. <laughs> now, is it tough to maintain your dignity? Not at all, Lamar. <laughs> Gone are the days when all we could play were maids and hookers. <laughs> I figure with the kind of work I'm doing, an image award can't be far off. All right, people, let's set up for the orgy scene. Oh, look like you got to do what you got to do best. <laughs> Get busy, baby. Thanks for joining the time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. time for me. Thank you. All right, man. <laughs> Our next guest has appeared on many TV shows and has just finished his first film. He's also won a Black People's Award for Best Scared Brother on the Police Show. <laughs> Y'all give it up for my main man, Daryl Simmons, coming at ya. <laughs> You. Welcome to the Black People Thank Show. You. Thank you so very much. Thank you for having Show me. Y'all know how to dress. Just get that from Morris Day. Ah, you got me. Oh. Oh. Only thing you forgot is lotion for them little ashy legs you got. <laughs> anyway, I know this brother always busy. What you working on? Well, uh, of course, I, I believe the only way a person can truly perfect his craft is to give himself constant challenges to continue to stretch his instrument. Mm -hmm. By the way, I loved you as a raisin. <laughs> Thanks. Now look here, tell us about this film you got. Well, of course. It's a different role for me. As you know, I'm best known for playing a scared brother on the police show. <laughs> well, now I finally get a chance to play someone of a frightened Negro in a horror film. Oh, I heard that. Now let me ask you, were you able to get across the black experience to the people the way that you wanted? Well, of course. I mean, it came through quite nicely. In fact, I believe I have a clip. Uh, could we run that, please? Oh, ain't gonna be no problem with that. You want to set it up? Well, of course. Uh, I'm cowering in a corner in a darkened room where a 5,000-year-old Egyptian uh, pharaoh comes back to life and tries to kill me. And the name of the movie is... Mo Mummy. Oh, you done heard it from the man himself. Daryl Simmons and Mo Mummy coming at you. Ah, I don't want to die. I can't do it. I'm like this. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, brother, that was brilliant. You don't went deep for that one, brother. 
Oh, uh, well, that's all the time we have for today. Go see Daryl Simmons and Mo Mommy. Watch my girl Tanya Hodges in Deep Solar System 6. And look for Kirk as a raisin in a bowl of cereal. And remember to look on the last page of Jet to see where the rest of the black people in Hollywood are working this week. Now, you know y'all ain't heading out without giving the door prize a cake cutter from me, Lamar. Go on and keep it his own house. Well, until next time, this is Lamar Hightower for the Black People Show. Come on, help me out, y'all. Black People Show. The Black Black People Show. You want out. I hope everybody had a good time tonight. We're going to close the show with a musical guest. He's going to be doing the remix version of his single, Swing My Way, from the album Free. Please welcome Prince Marky D and the Soul Convention. Check it. One, two. Uh, one, two. Uh, check it. Check it. Check it. One. What up, baby? Uh, yo, check it, baby. You need to swing my way. Marky D could do your right in a fly way. I'm the one you should choose. Girl, you won't be abused. So, baby, you need to swing my way. You got the heart and holy feel. Stop running with that bastard. Bust your women, really leave you dead in a casket. Hug you don't know about the light skin. Laid back, flex with the Rolex. Kid from way back. Straight from so honey, you know the program. Yeah. You need a suave bolo, not a conan. I got finesse and a warm caress. Uh. And I'm not the type to put you through no mess. Word. Sugar on the real, cause I know how you feel. Yo. Come and get close to the man of steel. I got your back, just yeah. treat me right. I'm a tech to when he's drunk and he wants to fight. Uh -huh. So come and get some honey, love. I serve it on a platter. Fuck it, he got a pounce. Your man don't your matter. Man don't matter. Back, relax, Check it explore. one time, cause the Prince Marky D is yours. Dig it. it, baby, you need to swing my way. Way. Yeah. Marky D could do your right in a fly you know way. I like the man you with now. I keep my hands to Check myself. So baby, you One need to swing my stop. way. Uh, baby, you need to swing my Check way. Marky D could do your right in uh -huh. a fly way. Uh -huh. I'm the one you should choose, girl. You won't be yeah. abused. Yeah. So baby, you need to swing my way. Now uh -huh. here we go on the second verse. I hope it's succeed. You wear a lot of makeup just to hide the bruises on your skin.